I've got a wall. Ooh. There was something else I was going to mention. It's gone. It'll come back to me later. Maybe. <laughs> She's signing this for the missus for uh, pyrography and it's everywhere. <coughs> <laughs> Right, so welcome to my new workshop. Well, garage turned into a workshop. Right, next video is a um, bit of a special one. Uh, my neighbour's son's father-in-law. Um, he's transitioning from stick uh, crutches to a walking stick. So I don't know if you remember this from a previous video. Hawthorne or something like that. We're going to be taking all these limbs off, smooth it down. I might do some little special little thing with some pencils. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, it should look good. Decent size. Right, I'm forever losing my pencils. So one of my kids has given me their pencil. Don't think I'm going to lose it. <laughs> so that is going to live there. Still got loads to do in the in the workshop, uh, converted it from from the garage. But when it's done, we'll have a little tour of um, all the the tools. Look at this sneak peek. The beard. <clears throat> What I'm going to do is, because it's such a, a young channel, I'm going to make one of these beard t-shirts. I made the, uh, the, the silk screen for it, which I might do in a video later on. But I'm going to put it behind glass, sign it, put it on there. I can't mention what I'm going to do with it yet because of a promise I made in the previous video. So I can't go down that road. After five videos, including this one, um I'm talking to my phone like some nutter thinking it's recording it's not it's recording now hopefully um, right I've got to repeat myself now so the pencils are actually turned out quite nice I like that it's discreet it doesn't look like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory weirdo kind of blokes walking stick but anyway yeah looks all right the um, I'm still using my phone to record these videos so the battery's gone uh, well it's not quite gone but the battery's low enough for the phone to refuse to use the recording light yeah I'll save enough money one day to to get a decent camera but it's doing at the moment just fine so next step sand it all nice and 
smooth and then think about what we're going to do with the top not sure yet missus is calling me gotta go right <coughs> right what I've decided to do is I'm gonna pour some resin um, and put like a, a ball on top of resin see how it looks I made a mistake when I <coughs> excuse me when I bought my resin some chap says to me oh I'll go down this this place here it turns out to be a roofing place so I bought I bought five liters of resin asked, I asked if it was clear and he says yeah it's clear it wasn't clear it's got like a blue tinge to it it still looks all right so I'm gonna pour it turn it down on a lathe and see how it looks if it looks rubbish I won't put it on but uh, yeah we'll give it a give it a shot It starts blue and then turns out, I don't know, like caramel. Turn it down, see what happens. Whew. 
Last night I uh, I was working in here quite late. Um, <clears throat> got the top finished. I just love this brown. I think it's going to go really nice with this live bark edge. Once it's coated with some kind of a lacquer or yacht varnish. Right, next step is there's a few bubbles up here. I haven't got a pressure pot or anything like that, so I'm just going to put up with the bubbles. There's a few bubbles, so I'm going to fill those with super glue. Um, I'm going to mount the screw to the bottom and then I'm going to start working my way up from 1500 grit right through to 3000 grit and then uh, polish it and then I think it'll be ready to put on top just have to wait and see oh yeah I've got to take that off I think Russ the guy this is for is a, roughly the same height as me so we're going to kind of work out where I'm going to put that as far as height. I think about there. Yeah. Right then. Let's crack on. It's too light. I think Hawthorne's a bit, a bit more of a darker wood. Anyway, um, I think it may be apple or pear or something like that. But yeah, right. Next step, bit of varnish or bit of lacquer, actually lacquer. Just the right size for me. Imagine whacking someone on the head with that. with that. Had a few uh, layers of lacquer on just to protect it, but great. I'm happy with it, but more importantly, is Russ going to be happy with it? Hopefully it will serve him for many years, or as long as he needs it. actually see 
every now and again. One of the pencils showing through. Oop. I think he dropped it. Yeah. Right, thanks for watching and I'll uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.